Hello again in California. I'm not going to say sunny California because it basically hasn't stopped raining in like four or five days, which I know is great for the region. There's a lot of snow and it's all terrific. But, uh, you know, when you're here, it's a bit of a bummer. But here we are. We can sit and enjoy wine. And this is a, a slightly different story. We are uh, in uh, France, in Burgundy. It's a Marsanet 2019. This is a straightforward story, basically. I heard about this wine by Sylvain Patay through a newsletter from one of the wine stores, local wine stores that I get. It sounded really interesting. I looked into it with Hany and some of my friend, and I you know, went to the store yesterday. I bought the wine and I opened the bottle. So very straightforward, not something I, I had to go dig out in my uh, cellar or, or or you know so i just wanted to try it it's 2019 so very young 2019 was an excellent year so i'm sure this wine has a lot of uh years ahead of it but i just figured you know why not let's let's try it um sylvain Pataille is one of the really high quality uh, uh winemakers in the region Mar marsanet is a is a region basically at the northern end of the Côte de Nuit, basically basically on the in, uh, in the suburbs of Dijon. Uh, so it's uh, the high, the end of the region, if you want. And uh, they make uh, red, uh, rosé, and white. Uh, up until 35 years ago, they didn't even have their own appellation. It was just Burgundy wine that they could use in village uh, wines or, or in other mixes. But in starting, I think, in 1987, they ended up with their own appellation called Marsanet because of the quality that was uh, continuing to improve. Uh, they don't have any Grand Cru or Premier Cru, so it's one of those villages where, uh, you know, the, the budget is lower if you're buying in Marsanet, the quality is high, but you're not going to have all these hierarchy of the Premier Cru and the Grand Cru, and, and, the, and the, they're all basically uh, a village, if you want to call it that way. Um, Sylvain Pataille makes uh, a number of uh, Marsanet, uh, varying prices. This is his basic one. There's one that there are some that are vineyard designated like Claude du Roy and, and others. He's, uh, he, uh, he's an organic and natural farmer. He uses uh, a whole cluster fermentation. Uh, his style is, you know, sort of very natural, as we just said, and fresh. And so he's recognized for that. And then uh, Let's see what we have here. A again, this is a very young wine. So at least for me, I know that I don't get as much out of it. I, I just can't detect all the things that that uh, become more apparent in an older wine. But uh, uh, we we'll see, we we'll see together. Anyway, um, on the color, when, I, when you pour it, it's, it's just very light. You know, uh, it's got that sort of pink, you know, burgundy, young burgundy, no breaking no uh, cloudiness, no aging, if you want, in the color. Um, and it's just very clear, very pure. The nose is really an interesting mix of uh, floral and fruit. Uh, and that's typical of Marsanet, apparently. So it's got, it's really, a lot of, there's a lot of floral component to it. I don't want to try to pick each one, but typically when I say floral, you know, you're sort of thinking rose petal, uh, that kind of uh, floweriness. Um, the fruit is sort of lighter red fruit, more strawberry than, than, than you know, blackberry. Maybe a little bit on the plum side, uh, uh, not super ripe plums. Uh, but it's all very subtle still. It's not something that really jumps at you. And, and I think, again, as I said before, maybe it's, it's the age. Mm. It's got really nice acidity. It's not overwhelming. You can sort of drink it on its own, but it does call for food. The finish is is uh, not very marked, but uh, you know it's there. It's just sort of. And I think again, this is a young wine that young wine that really I think you appreciate more on the front end than on the on the back end because of the fruit, because of the way it fills your mouth and it, it uh, it's fresh and lively. Uh, it's got a little bit of 
spiciness to it, which is also, I think, a characteristic of the terroir, which is interesting because we had this yesterday with a pretty spicy pizza and it really held up to it very well. Uh, and you find yourself drinking more of it. And sometimes you don't know it's, if it's because it's really working well with it or because somehow it's not enough and you have to have more. But I think it was working with the spiciness in the pizza. And that's kind of what's interesting about some of these young burgundies is you'll, uh, you'll enjoy them as is. You can think about them for the future. So I'll have more that I will keep and we can compare notes. But if you've got the spiciness, if you've got some of the freshness, it goes with a variety of food. Very enjoyable uh, wine uh, for the price. And again, with Burgundy, it's all about what kind of quality you can get uh, for the price. And I think this one works pretty well. Cheers and see you soon.